so in the last video we have learned about the two while loop in solid smart contract in this video we learn about the four while loop okay so i have opened the project in my remix id make sure to do that okay so let me give this command salty for loop okay let me create a contract for loop and i'm going to type the syntax so you guys can prefer so first we type the for and then we have to give the initialize value okay then we have to provide the test the conditions and then we have to simply mean add the irrit <laughs> irritation statement <clears throat> and then we have to add the statement and that's it okay here you can add the block of codes to check so that's the general conditions which you have to follow if you really want to create loops in your contract okay so let's come here let's have a practically look so i'm going to create a variable same example i'm going to take here as well okay so i have this data type array i have a, this function public return and i want to return simply an array okay so what i will do i'm going to create the loop i'll use this for and here i will in provide my initialized value which is going to be a unt type so i'll say i is equal to zero if i is less than i'll take for any arbitrary number okay so I'll say if i is less than 5, then I want to increment the i. And I'm going to simply push that i into my data array. Okay, so that's the simple loop for loop which you can use to create loops <laughs> in a smart contract. Okay, so there is so many loops we have here. So that looks pretty fine. And then we have to simply return the entire data. Okay, so that's the simple examples we have here. Let's remove this extra and let's try to have a practical. Okay, let's deploy the contract and let's see the logs. Hit on deploy and boom. You can see here we have the entire transaction logs and the gas is always really very high if you call this loops you can see it went successful and you can see still we are paying very high amount of gas fee we have all this data it started with zero one two three and four so we have five array into our data so that's how you can create array I believe that you guys know how to create loops in Sorty smart contract. Last video about the loops in Sorty because we have covered all the three loops. The one thing I want to highlight about the loops is that you should try to avoid any type of loop in your smart contract, okay? Because when you include loops in the contract, it increases the possibility of exhausting your gas fee, okay? If you want to use it the loops in your contract you can but you should never add the dynamic data okay you should define the def definite value that this is the value which i want to execute and this range it will follow only loop. the loop will follow for this range okay it should never be in dynamic so that's the only thing you have to keep in mind about the loops in salty smart contract okay so that's pretty good and that's the only thing i want to cover about the loops hope this makes sense to all of you guys and if you have still any confusion any doubt we have covered all the three loops okay with that said i'm ending this video let's move to the next one